Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will learn that how to uh, highlight below average volumes with a different color and above average values with or the volumes with a different color in, in the column chart. And it would be dynamic with the help of one formula logic we will be creating. And we will be also adding one average average line to that column chart as well okay so let's get started first we will have a one extra column that will calculate the average of all given numbers of the sales so i will apply the average function equals to average and selecting the entire range here so that i can get the average of these sales numbers and i will just drag and drop this entire formula so 470.8 which will be 471 is the average of all the numbers of this given sales numbers for each of the month respectively now what we are required to do is we need to create a column chart and we will add one line which will be of average and if any of the number is below average that will highlight with a different color and any of the number which is above the average that will be with a different color so we need two more columns one for the above average and one for the below average and that logic will be if this specific number is greater than average of entire range if this logical test is true then give me that particular number which is available in that sale cell or produce na which is error that will be not visible in the chart right so whatever the number which is above average we, we have got an average of uh, 471 so whatever the number of actual sales which is above average is coming in this particular column and this kind of same logic will be again for the below average so equals to if if this particular number is below average of this entire range if this logical test is true then give me that particular number or produce n e or n hash hashtag n slash a okay now all those numbers which are below average 471 are coming in this particular column now we are required to create a, a column chart and we will do some formatting tips and tricks so i will quickly select all these five columns and i will press alt f1 shortcut key and now what we are required to do some changes this is the default type and uh, the first thing is that the average which is 471 which is coming in the orange color is not relevant here with with respect to the visualization we want an average line rather than the uh, columns so what i will i will do is i will click on this average columns and i will right click then i will go to uh, click on to the change series chart type and instead of columns we will cluster column instead of cluster column we will select line here and press ok so we, we got the average line here right now the next part would be the overlapping technique so the above average are in the gray bars so I will right click on it and I will say format data series and I will make series overlap 100% okay and also the below averages are also being overlapped uh, as a yellow series right now I can change the colors I can do the formatting whichever would I, I would like to have that for example I need to make the gap with percentage decrease so that the volume should be increased in this chart and I want the above average numbers should be in in a green color so I will go to format tab and I will go to shape fill and from here I can just fill that color and for these yellow bars which are below averages um, let me select a one red color here right and for this average line um, that should be in a black color so it's very simple you can select the black color shape outline or line, right so now this is a very neat and clean chart if you want the axis to be a legend from here and I will make sales okay so now you can see that this is very interactive uh, way of uh, looking at the below averages numbers and the above averages numbers very quickly right and for example if any number gets changed for example in the month of may we found later on that it will be 550 so 
as you can see that now this number is above average and the color is being automatically handled and if any any number for example in the month of September it it was 200 instead of 1000 so you can see that it's working dynamically and it's handling the colors as well okay so I hope you like this technique do apply in your dashboards thank you